All right, back at it again. It's Natural Freedom League. I'm John Wydogan. This is another Moral Law Monday. This is the ninth week I've been out here on Monday between 4.30, 5 o'clock and 7.30, 8 o'clock. Finishing up when the sun goes down. As my cause is somewhat general in terms of discussing the agenda that's going on against humanity, against natural law, against spiritual development, against spiritual understanding. Things are changing weekly, daily, and there's different causes to discuss. So what I try to do is address what's current and what's happening right now. And so the sign I have made today is remember 9-11, especially building seven. And the other side says architects and engineers for 9-11 truth with the website ae911truth.org. Since today is September 7th, and Friday is September 11th and the dark forces that are working in this world would want us to remember that day as it was told through the official government narrative which left out many key details about what happened that day which therefore raises questions as to who was actually involved in pulling off the attacks of 9-11. The main issue with 9-11, or the main point that I think through the last 19 years since it happened, is the fact that most people don't know about World Trade Center 7 and the fact that three towers actually came down in New York City on that day. Most people just think it was Tower 1 and Tower 2, but also World Trade Center 7 came down in a free fall fashion at 5 p.m. that evening. Some facts about Building 7. It fell down at free fall speed at 5 o'clock. Uh, according to the National Institute of Science and Technology, they are claiming that the cause was structure fire, which has never brought down a skyscraper in history. So it just so happens that on that fateful day, the first two buildings collapse in a fashion that looks like a controlled demolition. And then at five o'clock that day, another building, Building 7, collapses in the same fashion. The other thing interesting about this is that this was not mentioned in the 9-11 report. There's no mention of Building 7 in the 9-11 report. So, that's what I'm trying to draw attention to today. Of course, then trying to get people to redirect to my website, naturalfreedomleague.com, trying to spread the message that government is illegitimate. The belief in government and the belief in the authority of government is a religion that is immoral. It basically means you believe that the government has the right to control what you do with your body. They own your work. They, you know, um, they are allowed to uh, take money from you through threat of violence. And people try to claim that this was a social contract. Well, I never signed that contract. The only way to really live truly without government, though, is to raise our spiritual aware awareness and our understanding of the laws of nature, specifically the spiritual laws, which we don't focus on very much in our world. It is some deep philosophy that I'm trying to bring out here as a message. And I'm just continuing to plug away at it every week and we'll see what comes of it. Saturday, September 12th, we will be having another great work at the Great Highway and Expose Bill Gates Day. 
giving out information to people who might be interested as to the true agenda of what's going on, not the official government narrative that we constantly get fed, which always ends up being a lie, which always ends up leading to more death and destruction and chaos. Look for more video series by me. I'll be doing this, Natural Freedom League, but I'll also be doing some more episodes of The People of the Nuss, which is more the spiritual philosophy and introduction and talks about spirituality and spiritual development and the fact that that is the reason why we're here is for spiritual development, spiritual growth. That's what life is all about. We've been led to believe that it's all mechanistic and it's all material and we need to get reconnected to the spirit in order to achieve a true anarchic society where everyone takes accountability for themselves and truly attempts to behave in a moral fashion. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you could like, share, and subscribe, that would truly be appreciated. Try to build this channel up a little bit. We've got some crazy times coming ahead. I'm just going to keep plugging away at what I'm doing. And again, we'll see what comes of it. Thanks a lot for listening. I'll talk to you all soon. I'm a little bit.